help us walk into the promises of what we got laid up for us. So we have to be thankful for what we got right now. If your life is whack and mundane and boring and regular and you got a routine, shit, you should be glad, man. As we said before, you were, you were in the sweet spot. You go to work, get off work, do your lessons, watch a little of this, a little bit of that, drink you some liquor, whatever you like to do, eat eat something good, right? You got heat in the house, it's, you know, you warm enough, you clean, you get your little one, two, you know what I'm talking about, mommy, daddy time, hey man, <laughs> you got it going on, because people in this world, they all fucked up, taking antidepressants, trying to find some new sexual thing to do, and feel they lust, still ain't satisfied, trying to run the Greek weekend over here, then fly back down, and go to, Greek, you know, uh, what's the shit called, the Greek fest, or just try to go down to the Bahamas, go to the carnival, try to run here and there, still ain't happy. Get you one of them internet butts, right? Get some guy to take you out of the rooftop restaurant. Boobies all pushed together. Still ain't happy. You know why? Because you don't know the Lord. That's why you're not happy. That's why you're not happy. The little that a righteous man hath is worth more than the riches of many wicked or better than the riches of many wicked. So be thankful for what you have. It could always be worse. You could have not have the truth. See? So that's it. I got to go. All right? want to say more, but maybe later. All right.